<laughs> so last night at the Game Awards, we got treated to updated footage of Elite Dangerous Odyssey. Great, fantastic graphics that have been rendered and put in front of us, all in-game footage as it states. You really do start to get a sense of scale as well um, of the game, of the characters walking on surfaces, ships flying by, you know, standing next to a ship as well. And it's a completely and utterly different colour palette, which I think is great and refreshing. And probably why, you know, other games uh, are doing so well, as opposed to just the blackness and, you know, the beigeness of space sometimes. Everything looks to be rendered, you know, perfectly. Uh, there was no frame loss, but then again, this is a video of in-game footage. Combat looks really good and fast-paced. Um, and let's face it, some of the graphics around some of the worlds we saw in that brief clip, and it was a brief clip, right, do look amazing. And it's certainly going to fuel um, everyone going out and buying new graphic cards, no doubt. This is the PC version, I think they've shown here, um, and no news yet on what's happening in regards to the consoles. But what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the um, announcement that came through, uh, the price, and what's going on in regards to um, buying the actual game in pre-order. So whizzing over to the forums and if you signed up to the Elite Dangerous forums you would have had an email last night that would have tempted you to go and click that buy it now button as soon as possible. Anyway the Elite Dangerous Frontier Forum has a, a nice graphic, a nice picture there. Also we've got the embedded video and here's the important stuff the price so elite dangerous odyssey is available to pre-order now as of this date uh, the 11th of the 12th 2020 now here's the important thing it comes in two flavors you basically can get just the game when it gets released uh, with um, the pioneer suit skin and that will cost you 29.99 in great british pounds um, 39.99 in the american dollar and $34.99 in the Euro. And for that you get the expansion and you get the skin. However, if you want to get on there really quick, right, um, there's the Alpha Expansion Pack, where for an extra 10 British pounds, okay, um, not $39.99 on the pounds, $54.99 on the dollars, so, you know, they're charging you $15 there. Um, and 46.99 euros, so you can see it's, you know, what's going on anyway. Um, you get access to the alpha version of that, when more details will come in the new year. You get the Odyssey expansion, as you do in the top version. You get the digital soundtrack, right, so a digital soundtrack, which you don't get in the top version, right, so you get that. And you get the exclusive Pioneer Suit skin. Well, it's not really that exclusive, is it, because... You know, you get it in both versions. But I suppose if you don't get, don't pre-order, you don't get the skin. So that's important. But you get alpha access. More details to follow in the new year. So that suggests that it's obviously going to go to alpha. Then it's going to go to beta. And then after that, then it's going to be a release, hopefully. Um, probably. And what we saw initially when it first came up was that it was sometime around April. But then that page got taken down and then put back up again. Uh, and then there's a pre-order for PC link here. There's no pre-ordering for PS4 and Xbox, so for the consoles yet. But I dare say that won't be long before that gets put up. Now heading over to Steam, sometimes you get a little bit more information. Like I said, it did have a, a release date of around April, but that got taken down and put back up. Uh, you can say you can see it's the release date is 20. 21, early 2021, uh, pre-purchase, the two versions, pretty much the same, uh, and there's absolutely no difference in what we're, what we're paying on Steam is what we are on the Frontier Store, which is good, you know, and obviously for your locations in Steam, you'll have different prices. Now clicking on the link, okay, so clicking on the link that we got sent in the forum post, uh, which is here, right there, you can see it. Um, takes you to this page, which is just the standard Odyssey edition. I thought, this is strange. Scroll down really quickly. Couldn't see anything. Um, and you get the normal marketing blurb and the screenshots and all the rest of it, which are fantastic. But this is only the version for Odyssey and the Pioneer suit skin. 
okay? So what I then did is I went up to games, uh, down to Elite Dangerous, right? View all products. Then you can see all the old products down here, look. And then you get the option, right? Then you get the option to buy the more advanced version. That's if indeed that's what you want, right? You might just be satisfied with going with the Elite Dangerous normal pre-order at $29.99 and just getting the game in the skin. Um, but hey, you know, add to basket. Alpha Edition, thank you very much. That's what I'll be having. Um, and that's basically how you do it. So don't worry if you get taken to the wrong page straight away. Um, just have a bit of a dig around on Frontiers page. Or if you're going to Steam user, it's easier for you on Steam than it is on the Frontier store, to be honest. Now, the storefront is there for on Frontier and on Steam. There have been some problems, however, when people have been going in there and pre-ordering. I myself couldn't pre-order going through the same process that I had there. It kicked me out with a, a JSON error. So I'll have to try that a little bit later. However, on Steam, uh, those people who did manage to pre-order, there is a way of getting back into the game uh, in regards to the launcher and Frontier are working on it. Now, what you have to do there is basically go back in and check and verify the integrity of your game files. So you right click on Elite Dangerous and there'll be an option there to do that. So it might be worthwhile just hanging on pre-ordering until they basically get their house in order, which is a bit of a shame because it's starting to... It's, it's kind of sort of like mad the pre-ordering experience of all this. Everyone was really excited. I went in, I tried twice uh, and got an error kicked out on the Frontier store. And that's, it's, there's been problems with Steam as well. Anyway, I've been Ricardo. Thanks very much for watching. I uh, hope you found this video useful. If you have, like and subscribe and check out uh, other videos on the page and also the live streams on the weekends. See you soon and stay safe.